How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Airport CEO and welcome back to Belfast City Airport. Things are going pretty well at the moment. We're not necessarily making as much money as I would like, but we do have a lot of passengers and a lot of planes that come through here every single day, which is fantastic news because it gives us the potential of money. And when you don't have money, the potential of money is sometimes good enough. It's not going to get you anything, but it's, it's nice to have hope. That's what I'm getting at. It's nice. It's nice to have hope. Now, speaking of hope, I am hopeful today. I am hopeful that we can build some medium airport stands or aircraft stands, I should say. And I have a bit of an idea for how I want to do this. And basically, my plan is to turn off this stand and this stand. And I'd like to turn this one off as well. And I'd like to turn this one off as well that has this Trinity plane on it right now. Good old TA-719. Because my thinking is that I can bulldoze the stands in the middle here and then do two medium aircraft stands in their place, keeping the six commercial small stands on either side. Well, three one side, three the other. So the idea is bulldoze you and bulldoze you and then bulldoze this guy as well and bulldoze the fourth one. And then what we can also do is go in and just bulldoze all of these sections of, of path right there, bulldoze these sections of path right there as well, bulldoze these ones in the middle while we're here. And then when all of that's gone, I should be able to squeeze two medium aircraft stands into that space, which is exactly what we wanna do. We get this all connected up, we get this all done, it's gonna look fantastic, it's gonna give us bigger planes, and hopefully the bigger planes will result in a bit more money. That's kind of the goal. Now, let's take a bit of a look at these medium aircraft stands. I wanna use the vintage one because I love how it looks, and the way this is looking like it's gonna go is a medium stand right there and a medium stand right there. Now, what I'm also thinking we might have to do is go and just bulldoze a whole bunch of the, uh, the walls here just to try and make this look right. So we're gonna have to take out that wall. We're gonna have to then replace it and put some doors and some windows in there. But I'm gonna make this look the part. I've also realized, oh, oh, I've realized this doesn't quite work the way I wanted it to. Now, hold on a second. Because this service road's right here. Can I, can I do something? Oh, I don't know if this is actually gonna work. I might've gotten a little carried away here, but we're gonna give it a shot. I'm wondering if I can bring the service roads down like this. I know I can do it on the inside here, but I don't know if I can do it over here. And that's, oh, maybe I can. I don't know if that's gonna work. I really don't know if that's gonna work, but we're gonna find out. We'll let them build that. We'll see what happens. We'll see if it works. I, I really don't know. If it doesn't, I might have to adjust things a little bit further, but I'm I'm willing to do that. That's that's fine. I can uh, I can make that work. Also, I think that's the gate entrance right there. So we'll run this straight over once again to about there. And am I blocking again? Where am I blocking? Oh, so the gate entrance is right there. All right. So we'll do this as well. And yeah, let's let's get these roads built so I can see if this actually works. This might look terrible. This might look absolutely disastrous, but I'm willing to I'm willing to give it a shot. And I guess while we're waiting, let's go ahead and put some uh, put some doors just there and just there as well. And so that, I mean, that looks like it's connected, right? That, that looks like vehicles could come across and sort of down and around. I don't know if they actually can, but it looks like they could. And I'm kind of willing to take that chance for now. So I guess we'll see what happens. And yeah, they are, they are looping around. I don't know why I've still got them going up and across there. That's a little bit silly. We can just sort of move them straight over here. And then I guess take this entire section out. And so now we have these two medium stands. We now need to get a stair truck as well. So let's go into the management tab. Let's go to vehicles. Let's go to purchase vehicles. And honestly, I'm kind of inclined to get two of them. I'm going to be honest. I think two of them is going to be good. We probably want some pushback trucks as well. So we'll grab those while we're here. And I guess what we can also do is just ever so slightly rework the layout here. Because I think what I can maybe get away with is bulldozing those chairs. So take all of those out. We'll go to desks, we'll go to boarding desk, we'll get a medium boarding desk. 
And it's, it's always annoying when these boarding desks don't line up exactly the way I would want them to, but it's fine, I suppose. We'll do a boarding desk right there, and we'll do a boarding desk right there. And then when the chairs are out, we can sort of redo the entire layout here and everything should be fine. So those chairs are gone, those chairs are gone. Let's come over here and let me grab, I guess, some single row seating. And what I wanna do is sort of use these chairs as a way to kind of outline where people are gonna be queuing. And I suppose that'll kind of work. It's not the best layout, but it will do the job. And I suppose I could also kind of get away with something like this. I, that might be a little bit much. That might be that might be a bit much in the way of seating, but we'll give it a shot. We'll see how it goes. We'll sort of lay out this right here. We'll do exactly the same thing here as well. And then, of course, we want to get them painted up in that nice sort of dark blue color that we've been using. We'll do the same for the boarding desks as well. So all of this gets painted up like so. And then I guess what we do is connect you to that stand right there. We can go ahead and connect you to that stand right there. And those are now functional, which is kind of cool. Those are actually, actually now functional, which is amazing. That's, oh, that's cool. That's, <laughs> that's really cool. I don't know if we're going to have any medium flights coming in anytime soon. Let's, uh, oh man, that's, that's my medium stands right there. That's Saturday. I don't think we have any coming in right now, but it's whatever. We are down a considerable number of flights. I don't love that we're down that many, but it is what it is. It's uh, it's probably not the end of the world. I'm kind of hoping we can get some medium flights coming in here, but I might need to go to economy. I might need to go to some contracts and I might need to look at some uh, some airlines here. So what have we got? We've got quite a few choices. We've got Tulip Airlines Vintage. I'm going to go ahead and I don't know if I want to grab any of these Olympus organization. They're doing medium flights. 6,000 per flight's not bad. I just denied it, which is not what I wanted to do. These guys, Tulip Airlines, have a lot of mediums right there. We've got Swiftly Vintage. They have some mediums. Let's let's take the vintage ones for a second and see what we can do. We have Crown Airlines. I guess we could accept those if I really wanted to. I guess Tulip has... Yeah, Tulip has some mediums. We'll grab those. Maple Express, I'm not worried about. OK Air has a good number of mediums as well. Nordic has some good mediums. Let's grab let's grab Nordic while we're here. And that should be fine for now. So looking at this, we should end up with some medium flights scheduled here. I think that is a medium size aircraft. So yeah, we, we should end up with some scheduling going on, which will be great. We could probably get away with just grabbing all of these contracts, to be quite honest. Although Crown Airlines, they're a very it's a very good contract. We'll grab OK Air as well. We'll get Olympus. We'll get Zoom. I'm basically going to grab anything that's four stars right now. And I think I got all of them. So that's not bad. We do have some medium flights scheduled, which is beautiful news. So not bad. That's not bad at all. I'm also realizing that for a small flight to land, it's $2,500. For a medium flight to land, it's 6000 So despite the fact that we got rid of four stands for two, we're still making $1,000 per plane that lands. So not bad. Genuinely genuinely not bad. I'm actually quite pleased about that. So I guess the next thing to do is take a look here. Upgrade a small grass stand to either concrete or asphalt. Okay, I've got $500,000. I can probably get away with this. Uh, upgrade to asphalt. I would like it to be concrete because that's what these are, but it's whatever. How much is it to do that? 6,500? I guess we can do that across the board here. It's, uh, it's not the worst thing in the world to do is to upgrade these guys. Might as well get all of the commercial ones upgraded. The general aviation guys can, you know, they can suffer for all I care. We need to hire a procurement director. You will need to hire a procurement director to gain access to more procurement options. I could have said that. I, 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 <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Fair, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> some wise guy wrote this. <laughs> some, some wise guy wrote that tooltip. All right. Let me see here. Executives. Procurement director. Do we have one that's not terrible? Doesn't really look like it. So we'll hire you. We'll go to executives. We'll train you up a little bit. And now what do I need to do? Expand the airport? Okay, so what's an airport without shops and cafes? Right now your passengers are just waiting around with a lot of money in their wallet, begging for you to take it off their hands. This is an excellent business opportunity that can't wait. By now, you should already be familiar with the basics. So let's get started with the next checklist. So we've got franchise shops done. We now need to drag out a shop which I can totally do. That's good. That's what I wanted to do. 
I'm also realizing just how many people are sitting around because we have these, uh, we have these large flights waiting to go. This, oh my god. Oh, look at you. Look at you. There's so many people coming through. It's amazing. I'm also hoping that security and check-in can actually handle the number of people that are about to be going through here. It seems like they can. It seems like they're filtering through pretty quickly. So hopefully that continues to happen. And hopefully no one misses their flight. This queue is actually getting a little bit full here on the left. I don't love that. I'm sure they'll be fine. I'm <laughs> I'm sure nothing bad's going to happen. Oh my God. Oh, and they are very slow. Oh, they are very slow. <laughs> they are... They are painfully slow. Ooh. All right. We might need to stay on top of that, but we'll we'll see what happens. Did the other flight? Oh, the other flights are scheduled as well. Okay. Not bad. All right. I'm getting sidetracked. We need to build a shop. That was that was the thing, right? Drag out a shop room somewhere in your terminal. All right. So shops. We want a shop room. Let's make it, I don't know, 7 by 14. Let's do like 10 by 14. We'll do 10 by 14. We'll go ahead and do a wall right here. We'll go ahead and do a nice large door, I guess there and there, a couple of nice large doors at the front. And that should be fine. That'll be a decent sized shop. We need to place a shop counter and some shelves in the shop room. So shop counter can fortunately go right in the middle, which I really like. I think it goes this way around as well. So shop counter, honestly, right about there. And then the shelves, I don't really, I don't really know what we need for this. I'm kind of hoping for a decent star. Can I get like a two star? Can I get a three star? No, I can get a two star though. They want four shelves and a cashier desk. I can, I can deal with that. I can absolutely deal with that. So let's just put a bunch of shelves in here. We'll go and start with the wall mounted ones. And I suppose what we'll do is a bunch just sort of down this side a bit like so. We'll do a bunch down this side a bit like so. And then we can do a bunch in the uh, in the middle, which I think will be good. So something like this, something like this. We could dot one right about there. I don't think I'm going to do that, though. I think what I'll do is just get a little pedestal right there and there. And that seems good. That seems like a decent little star. I don't I don't mind that at all. We could, if we wanted to, get another wall mounted one and just put it right about there and there. And that seems pretty good. That'll that'll be a good little store. Let's also just go ahead and get some uh, some nice flooring in here. We'll go for some nice fancy wood for the store. And then I guess once this is good to go, we can sign a contract with uh, with whoever. We can sign a contract with Flygo is what we'll do. So we'll get that signed. That'll be a store that's going to be working as of whenever. And that's going to be kind of cool. I'm actually kind of excited about this. I'm I'm genuinely, <laughs> genuinely quite excited about this. Wait for a traveling passenger to make a purchase. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna change this up a little bit. I know it wants me to wait, but I'm gonna build another store because my thinking here is that what I can potentially do is if I go to like here and do like a little corner and I go to, I wanna say here and do a little corner. I can potentially do a really large shop out here. And I'm almost certain that shops in the departures or well, I guess this is whatever. This is like check in and stuff like that. These kind of shops usually do quite well. So I'm I'm kind of willing to sort of give this a shot and see what happens. I also just want it to look a little bit more interesting than just an open square. So we'll do uh, we'll do a little bit of this just to sort of detail it and stuff like that. We can maybe do I don't know, maybe some bushes or hedges or whatever we want to call them, just in those uh, those gaps as well. So it's kind of, you know, you got walls, then you got some nature, then you got walls, you got some nature. I think it'll look all right. I think that'll be just fine. And then we just go to shops. We go and paint this in here. It's a nice, you know, big shop. And we can do, I guess, a counter there and a counter there. Seems like a fair spot to me. And then for shelves, We'll do kind of a similar thing. We'll do shelves sort of in those corners like that. We can do one right in the middle. We can do one right down here as well. And I don't think I can do anything more central than what I've done there. So what we'll do is go for some slightly smaller shelves and we'll go and do, I guess, a gap of, uh, well, I don't know what way to do this, actually. <laughs> I'm really not. I'm really not 100% sure what way to do this. Um, maybe that right there is kind of an interesting way to go. And then maybe some pedestals or something like that. 
in the uh, in the middle as well. So some pedestals, sort of like this, kind of dotted around the place. Should be pretty solid. That seems like a good shop to me. And if we go look at contracts, we can get paper plane in here. We can get pick and fly in here. So let's go for let's go for paper plane. Get a nice contract in there. And I want to do the same thing on the other side. That's that's kind of my goal here. So can I can I copy and paste? I absolutely can. So I want to grab all of this and I basically want to put it. I want to say right there. I probably should have shifted over by one because there's now a bit of wall blocking the uh, there's a bit of wall blocking one of the exits there, which I don't love. So I think I am going to shift this over by one. And then I'm going to go and I guess bulldoze all of this. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to bulldoze all of this because it's uh, that's just not really where I want it. But whatever, it'll be fine. This is all going to have to get rebuilt, which again is totally fine. It's it's worth it. Basically, it's it's probably worth it. And so just like that, we have a working shop here on the right. We also technically have a working shop here on the left as well. And I'm pretty sure we have sold some things in those shops, too. So if we have a look. Yeah, passengers have started to complain that they have to carry their baggage all the way to the aircraft. This is obviously not very efficient and greatly annoys your passengers. It's time to design a conveyor belt system so we can transport baggage to and from the aircraft using baggage trucks. To get a working baggage system up and running, it's important to set it up properly. Continue with the next checklist to get started. So we need to get baggage handling, which is fair enough. I'm actually kind of surprised I haven't got it already, but shouldn't be a problem. We can do a bunch of things all at once now. So let's have a look at baggage handling. It's going to take 24 hours. And hopefully I have enough uh, staff to put on this. I actually don't have enough. So let's go and get more administrators. We'll go for you and you and you. We'll get you, you and you. And then if we go to operations, we can put a bunch of people on this. That'll take about 24 hours. That's fine. But I guess while we're also doing this, I suppose we can get advanced runway lighting. I don't know if it's essential, but it's something we're going to get. We did get remote stand services as well, but uh, we'll not worry too much about it. We'll go for this right now. And I can put absolutely no one on that right now. So I need more. I need more administrators is what I need. So you, you and you are all hired. If we go back to operations, I need a minimum of five on this, which is going to be slightly tricky. I should mention I have also got five administrators on upkeep reduction. So upkeep reduction is now 23% reduced. Salaries are 23% reduced. Project time is 61%. So 61% faster on projects and staff productivity is 47% higher. So we're very efficient at what we do now, which is good news. Absolutely no complaints from me on that one. Now, it looks like we're making money as well. We're up to $624,000, which is amazing, amazing news. I'm actually kind of surprised that things are running as well as they are. That's that's genuinely a little bit surprising. But I think what I want to try and do is I, I almost want to try and get rid of some of these general aviation stands and convert them and flip them over into remote stand services. So the way we can do that is by going to infrastructure. At least I think it's by going to infrastructure. It's by going to one of these. It's by going to this one. And we need airside shuttle bus stops, essentially. And what's convenient is that uh, these these shuttle buses actually fit in these spaces really nicely. Uh, they just aren't necessarily going to fit as as nicely as I would like. I mean, they 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 fit, you know, they, they do fit in there. I just don't know if they'll connect to that road or not. I would imagine they will. I would have to imagine they will, which means I could potentially get four of these and then gain back the four stands that I lost for the medium ones. It's tempting. It is. It is actually kind of tempting to do that. I might hold off, though. I might be getting a little bit carried away with that, and I might not want to go too crazy with it right now. Also, you requires additional staff to operate staffer en route. This I don't know if this place has ever been open. It's open from four until midnight. It should be open right now, but it just doesn't seem to be. Which is kind of odd. It's it's definitely a little bit weird that that place isn't open, but I guess we'll not stress it too much. Let me just go to copy and paste and let me just, you know, slap that right about there. And I suppose what we can also do is go to shops. We can go and set this as a shop area and then I can go and copy and paste everything again so that it actually gives me all of the counters and everything that I would want for a shop right there. 
So that'll be a shop. I'm pretty sure at some point the game's going to tell me to build cafes as well, which is kind of what these spaces are for here. We can also build lounges, I think, which might not be a terrible idea at some stage either. But just for the time being, I'm I'm kind of OK. Just having a couple of little shops in here. This one in particular, let's go ahead and get Well, we can't get you. We can get these two, though. So let's go for Turner. We'll grab that one and just get another store in there. This one, hopefully it works, but I mean, these guys out here are doing pretty well. This one in particular, good Lord, it's busy. It's it's doing it's doing pretty well. Rent and sales revenue, 11,000. It's already halfway through its sales of today. I would like there to be a few more in there. I'm going to be honest. Their sales goals are, are pretty high, so hopefully we can actually meet those goals. But regardless, I'm, I'm sure they're happy enough. They get a lot of foot traffic, right? That's that's got to count for something. Oh, I am an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an actual idiot. These are not in secure spaces. They're not secure. The, the toilets here aren't secure either. This is potentially something that oh, this is going to be one of those things that was picked up on really early in the series, isn't it? This is going to be something that you will have spotted a few episodes ago and oh God, <laughs> this is why this is why pre-recording sucks. It has to be done, as I've already explained, like there's no there's no getting around it. I, you know, as as I've as I've mentioned, I'm not in the country right now. I am quite far away from my uh, from my office. So this is just one of those things. But now they're up and running which is good. People can go and do some shopping in the departures area, which personally I love doing. I love a bit of departure lounge, lounge shopping, even though everything is like super expensive and overpriced. I still love it. It's still one of my favorite things to do in an airport. I'm not going to lie. It's it's always a good time. I've bought some of my favorite clothes in airports. I've bought my favorite sunglasses in Copenhagen Airport. I bought my favorite coat in Edinburgh Airport. I bought what else have I bought? I don't know what else I've bought. in. I bought a lot of things in airports, mostly sunglasses, to be quite honest with you. That's that's kind of my weakness is I see like I see like a sunglasses hut or something like that. And I just think, oh, I don't need sunglasses, but I I would kind of like them. I would I would kind of like them. Let's also get those approach lights in there for the uh, the two runways so that they are a little bit better for everybody. There we go. So that'll improve the runways for everyone that's using them. Let me also look at my balance right now. So daily current day, one hundred and sixty five thousand dollars not bad that is not bad we can also go ahead and take people off of advanced runway lighting and add them to this so that the program group three gets going we did also just get baggage handling done which is great news so if we have a look here extend your terminal and build a baggage bay okay what if i don't want to extend the terminal and instead i just want to build a separate baggage bay that seems like it would be a better idea and I mean, that's that's what I'm going to do. So let's do I'm going to say six by six. I think that's big enough. Actually, how big is a baggage bay? I don't for the life of me remember. Oh. Oh, it's pretty chunky. It's it'll fit in a six by six space. Uh, Actually, no, it won't. Oh, man, is this going to have this thing's going to have to be huge. OK, we're going to have to do something a bit bigger then. So let me go to terminal foundation and do eight by eight that seems too big it might be have to be a set regardless we're gonna do eight by eight because that's not what i wanted at all <laughs> that's that's what i want right there uh, and then just bulldoze that little wall down the middle so that'll be fine uh we can go to conveyor belt systems baggage bay and yeah it could have been could have been a bit smaller but whatever we'll do it this way it'll be fine it's it's not the end of the world we'll get that thing built uh, we are going to need ways for staff to get in here, though, now that I think about it. I don't think construction workers have to follow the secure space, but my other staff will. So let's go to secure zone and let's just paint all these uh, all these sidewalks as secure. Let's do the same thing over here as well. So this is all painted as secure. And then what we can do, I suppose, is go to terminal or go to infrastructure or go to infrastructure and transportation and then basically just bring a sidewalk down here we'll bring a sidewalk sort of over here we'll bring a sidewalk sort of down to here and here and i guess that's how we're sort of going to get people into 
all of this space. So we're going to need a crosswalk right about there. We're going to need that all to be secure as well. So my staff can kind of walk down and around. I should probably upgrade all of the roads, but I'm, I'm still not there yet. I'm still I'm still really not there yet. Uh, let's see. Let's do let's do this. Let me actually bulldoze you so it kind of fits a bit better. And yeah, that's that's how my staff can go ahead and get down into uh, into this whole space. So make that a staff zone. Make that a secure zone as well. And that is now both, which is perfect. We go to conveyor belt system. We go to baggage bay. And essentially, this thing is going to have to go somewhere like that. And then I'm going to have to chop out some walls. So if I go to bulldoze, I want to take out those sections of wall. At least I think I want to take out those sections of wall. I'm pretty sure I want to take out those sections of wall. That should be fine. We can just sort of loop this back into or loop it sort of down here might be the way to go. That should be fine. It's the building is unnecessarily large, but I can also put my security stuff in there. In fact, let me um, let me get rid of that baggage bay for a second. So cancel you and put it like here. So then I can put my security stuff in that space, which we need to get. We're going to need to get security, but this will be fine. That's 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 a start. All right. So now that this is all built, let's go ahead and take a look. We need to connect the baggage bay to the service road. Now we have done that. We absolutely have done that, but I think what I've missed is the little section along the side there where it needs to come down this way. So we'll get that all connected as well. And that'll be the baggage bay connected to service roads, which is perfect. That's that's what we're looking for. I'm also thinking I might just change this up a little bit so it goes to that road and not that road. And then what we can do is just connect this out to I mean, we only have two of the check in desks where you can drop your baggage off. So unless we get some bag drop, which I think we can do, I think if we go to R&D, baggage handling is step one, but I think automation gives me, yeah, that gives me baggage drop. So let me get that because that is going to help us out, you know, pretty, pretty big. That's a, that's a good thing. Now, let's see supplier discount. I don't know if I need any of these these perks. I think we'll just leave it be for now. Now, connect your check in desks to the baggage bay with conveyor belts. That's all well and good. Do I have I do have escalators down? OK, so escalator down and escalator down. And then we're going to need some escalators that are going up towards this thing as well. So what we want to do is go underground and put it there. And then put the other one, I want to say there. So that should all be connected. Those are going the wrong way. It's baggage. I'm an idiot. And I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an idiot. Of course. <laughs> Why would the bags come back here? <laughs> I. Oh, my genius is just, just astounding. It's it's astounding, is what it is. Uh, let's bring this over. And then what we need to do is take it over this way. So basically, we need the bags to come in this way. So we want to go and get a, an escalator up this time, and it's going to go there. So that's going to bring the bags up and you know drop them out there. We'll grab a conveyor belt. We'll go underground and I'm just going to try and sort of bring this over in the neatest possible way. So it kind of needs to go this way and that's fine. This needs to come down and that still keeps this bit free. So it gives us all of this space, all of this space basically to play with the potential for, uh, you know, arrivals. You can collect your bags over here. I could potentially have collection over here as well if I wanted to. Yeah, that gives us that gives us some options, which I like. So we'll have to get that all built, which is going to take a second, but that's not the end of the world. We'll turn this thing on, which apparently we can't do. Cannot be opened without connection to an aircraft stand and a check in desk or baggage claim. OK, so here's my thinking. Let me connect you to can't connect a baggage bay while handling a flight. Oh, all right. All right. All right. That's fine. Let's do. Let's do let's do arrivals here. Let's get that going. So we'll sort of do exactly the same thing that we've done here for this. Uh, this shop we will kind of leave a little space between it. This doesn't necessarily need to be as big as the shop itself, though. So what we'll do is we'll go for something kind of like this, I think. So just a bit, you know, a fair bit thinner. Still kind of has the uh, still kind of has the stylings going on. We still got like the pillars and we're still going to do the hedges and all that, but 
we'll just do a little something something to make this look a little bit, you know, interesting. So something like that. And then we can go to conveyor belt system, baggage claim area, paint that in there. And then I just need some conveyor belts that go around in a circle. So, I mean, basically we can do this the entire way around. This seems, this seems a little bit excessive. This is a massive conveyor belt system, but I'm honestly kind of here for it. So it's not the end of the world. Let's do escalator up this time, which is going to come into this corner. And so that gives us the bag drop, which is perfect. And then if I just go to building tools and I go to copy and paste mode, grab all of you, and then just sort of throw this thing right over, I think about there is where we're going to be looking. Uh, this is going to need to be demolished though, because it's not in the right spot. We want that to be an escalator up and we want it to go right about there. So that's going to be two uh, baggage collection spaces. I realize I don't have a tipper tray right now. So I don't think I can actually set this up to have the two baggage collection spaces work. It is just going to be the one of them, but that's fine for now. I'm not, I'm not too worried about that. We can get all the things that are going to let us get fancy with this a little bit later on. This is just the basics that we're doing right now. So bring this over and bring this over to, I think right about there's the spot we're looking for and bring it up. There we go. So that's totally fine. That'll work. That'll work quite nicely, I think. We can go ahead and switch this on. Never mind. It's uh, can't accept baggage. Connect to baggage bay. Connect out to you. Switch the room on. Still can't do it. Why can't I do it? <laughs> it's deactivated and can't accept baggage. Can't switch it on. I guess this probably needs to be functioning as well, right? So you. Okay. Can I? I kind of need this plane to go away is what I need it to do. All right, that took a little bit longer than it should have because the medium flights have been getting delayed like crazy, but we have them connected to the baggage bay, which is fantastic news. So we need to make sure everything is activated and that we have some extra ramp agents to operate the baggage bay to proceed. So we'll switch that on. We'll go to next. We have to have at least eight ramp agents and we now need two baggage trucks. So what we'll do is head in here, go to vehicles, go to purchase. And we want to get some baggage trucks. And I'm thinking, honestly, I'm going to go with these ones. I'm thinking these ones are pretty solid. So we'll order two of them. It's not going to take too long for them to get here. But what I'd like to do is get a whole bunch more ramp agents because I want to make sure that baggage is handled really, really nicely. So ramp agents will get you. The rest of you are kind of terrible. So we're going to get rid of all of you. I think there was a really good one in there but it should be fine. We'll also go and turn baggage handling services on. We'll also do proactive cleaning and proactive repairs. We'll go back to staff. We'll look at this. We'll hire you. And I suppose now it is just a matter of waiting. It's a matter of waiting for baggage to be handled on these flights. Hopefully that's a thing that we can actually do. And hopefully it's a thing that we can actually do kind of well, because you know, it's going to be a bit more money which is obviously kind of what I'm looking for. So we'll hire all of you. Have a look here. We need more. Wow. We need more passenger service agents. We need more security officers, janitors, service technicians. We'll get some ramp agents. We'll go for security officers and get maybe another couple of you guys. We'll go to passenger service. We'll hire you. Service technicians will hire you and you and you. And that should keep us pretty good. We should be all right. I think we did get the... We did get the baggage trucks in here, so they should be on their way to start picking up some of the baggage from in here. At least I would hope that they are going to be on their way to to do that. I'm not really too sure where they they are right now, which is a bit of a concern. That's that's, that's definitely a bit of a concern, assuming they've actually got to the airport at all yet, which again, I'm I'm hoping they have. Definitely. Oh, no, there's one right there. So what are you what are you doing? You're going around. You are picking the bags off the plane, which is great news. And then I would assume you're going to do the same thing, which is also great news. So that's even more money, which is amazing. We're up to like almost $900,000 right now. And then I don't really know where this guy's going. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to, I'm going to follow him. Oh, he's just turning around. Okay. So heading up that way. Coming all the way down here, I probably should just put a road that goes more directly to the baggage thing, but we'll do it this way for now. 
So you're coming in, you drop everything off, and then all of that stuff should go through into arrivals where there's a bunch of people waiting already. I'm sure they're thrilled about standing around waiting for their things, but their things should be about to, uh, yep, there we go. That's all the bags coming through. They can start picking them up, do their thing, get out of here. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. I'll tell you what's also going to be good. Going to R&D and seeing if I can't, oh, I got automation. That's actually really good news. The tilt tray. That's what I want. I want the tilt tray right there. And also baggage security is probably a really good idea too. So we'll go ahead and get a bunch of people working on this. We'll get a bunch of people working on this. I can only have one working on that. We'll take everybody off of this and put them back onto that. And that'll be good. Dangerous baggage. Oh boy. Yeah, that's why we need security. That right there, that right there is uh, is why we need security. That's, that's something we're gonna have to prioritize. But it's all right. It's not the end of the world. We'll manage, we'll make it right. We'll make it better. Everything's gonna be okay. Let's just go ahead and get some benches for now. I want to go there and there with them, just like so. And then the same thing over on the other side as well, just so people have somewhere to sit while their bags are coming through. It's not exactly an ideal spot for them, but it'll be it'll be better than nothing, I suppose, is, is kind of my thinking. I'm also going to make these conveyor belts the same sort of dark blue that we've gone for and everything else, because I think that's going to look really cool, just having some branded conveyor belts, you know? So something a bit like that should be fine. Once we get the tilt tray, we can get the second arrivals space going as well. Got a bunch of people chilling here waiting for their bags. And you know what? Honestly, let's just go ahead and do this uh, this extended section of road right here because it is a little bit silly the way I have this set up right now. So we'll do, we'll do that right there and that should be fine. So that'll be a little bit quicker for the baggage cars to, uh, to come down and do their thing, which is exactly what we want. We want things to be nice and efficient, nice and quick. So we should be all right there. They'd get around pretty quick, but this will be this will be good for us. And especially since I think we have two planes basically landing at the same time all the time. So there's going to be a lot of people wanting to pick up their bags. Going to be a whole lot of people getting very, very impatient. But it's all right, because here's the thing. Now that we have automated check in, we have self check in there. We have baggage drop there. We can make things a little bit quicker. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, we have self boarding gates as well. So I can make boarding these medium planes considerably quicker again, because what you can do is just put a bunch of the self boarding gates and then a whole bunch of people can get through super quickly. So it's going to be good. Despite the fact that we are letting a lot of dangerous things on the planes. Other than that, we're doing quite well for ourselves. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and leave it there for today. This episode's gone on a little bit longer than the other ones, but that's okay. It happens from time to time. It's not the end of the world. The next one will just be a little bit more regularly lengthed. Lengthed? Lengthed is not a word. <laughs> anyway, anyway, thank you so much for watching, everybody. It has been an absolute pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Well,